Okay, that's what we could start with, man. Fucking white vision. Just get that right out of the bag. Why's white, it got to be white? White vision. Uh, they made him white. You know, they white. They whitewashed him. I can't even talk this morning. But dude, like, okay, I'm not gonna lie. Didn't see that coming. That kind of threw me for a loop because when Wanda goes into that sword facility to get his body, she's like, yeah. "Wait, she's leaving." Oh, okay. Well, hold on a second. So I was kind of confused for a little bit. Yeah. Uh huh. Kind of confused for a little bit until that post credit scene. I'm like, uh, this motherfucker kept the body and he's br- Oh my God. So it's going to be like an Ultron esque, non feeling, I guess, ruthless, just straight automaton. Android. Yeah. 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 Do you know how badass that would be if they get James Spader to come back and voice like Ultron esque vision? That would be sick. That, that would, would be that, sick. That. That would be a nice touch, actually. It would. It would. I have a feeling that's going to happen. I don't know why. I just. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I like I, it. I like I, it. I feel like this white vision is going to be like a sick, just menacing killing machine. You know, no ruthless, no emotions, nothing. As I predicted, this episode was mostly a flashback episode. I had a feeling it was going to be. Um, yeah. yeah. I knew we were going to get a lot of backstory on uh, definitely Agatha, but maybe Wanda too, and how she how everything started and um, it, it made a lot of sense, you know, and it was kind of heartbreaking at times. I actually felt really bad for Wanda. So, okay. Episode started off in 1693 at the Salem witch trials in Massachusetts. Like I had a feeling, I had a feeling Agatha was going to be involved in that shit, just like in the comics and um, mm-hmm. pretty much put her at the stake. And instead of burning her at the stake, it looks like they were using magic on her. To yeah. And she absorbed it. It's it was a very kind of honestly, dude, it could have been a scene that you could have she could have just mentioned. We didn't really need a scene like that, but it was cool to show like how she went about absorbing those powers and doing what she did. So either way, it was a it was a cool opening scene. Yeah. Um, and her mom was there. I was going to say, and, her, and it was her mom, dude. That's even more brutal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, so um, she makes a reference to say at one point in that scene, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm good. I'm still good or something. Forgive me. I, I'm paraphrasing here because I watched this at three thirty in the morning. It's kind of yeah. hard to remember exactly, but yeah, maybe mention something like that. So she's like, "I can do good. I can do good," or something along those lines. Yeah, yeah. In, in a very good scene, acted very well by Catherine Hahn. She's been really Dude, good in the show. She's been yeah, very good we, in the show. we saw some uh, some uh, some new ammo from her that I have not. You know, she's she's not just your yeah your your your, your comedic relief actor in my opinion anymore yeah maybe she could delve away from the typecast yeah. a little bit you know and yeah try to venture into other you know things like tom yeah. holland's doing you know going yeah. from spider-man to cherry which i really want to see and um that other movie that he did but yeah, yeah. no uh, really good shit from Catherine hahn i was very impressed um and then you know it continues with her in the basement with wanda um no mention of monica i guess she's outside the whole time but uh, yeah, yeah, not mention Monica at all. At all, or Pietro. Well, they did mention Pietro. It's confirmed. Mm-hmm. It's a fake Pietro, but she still yeah. really didn't say who he is, if anybody, if he's anybody important, or if he's just some Joe Schmo off the street. Who fucking knows? Maybe yeah. we'll get some more on him next episode. But honestly, dude, I mean, like I said before, I, I felt this was going to be a lot of flashback stuff, but this really didn't feel like a penultimate episode. Like, it didn't... I don't know, man. It's like, I'm kind of concerned in a way like they have so much to tie up in yeah. just one episode. Yeah. I don't. How the fuck are you going to do that, man? It's got it's, it's to be a longer episode. The, that's it's what I'm saying. Be. If they're staying to like the 45 minute mark. I can't get comfortable. How the fuck do you how, the, how do you wrap this up in 45 minutes? I mean, if it's an hour, that's not that much longer. I mean, you almost I don't know. Like, I feel like this could have been like an episode six or seven. Or something like that. I feel like it's just it doesn't feel. Yeah. Like a, I don't know. That was kind. Of, that was kind of the vibe that I got. I mean, I'm I'm speaking for Art in a way because I was picking up on his body language. I think I think we felt the same way. We were both kind of like, eh, what? I mean, so there's only one episode left, and I was just kind of like, oh, yeah, shit, dude. You know? I'm feeling a little iffy. I'm not feeling iffy about the the content, but just like I hope they tie it all up in one episode and not have it like just overcrowded and way too I'm convoluted and shit like just starting to get some game of thrones season seven and eight right flashbacks <laughs> it's like don't, that, don't don't do it man don't fuck it up yeah that's a very good uh it's a very good comparison wait was it seven and eight or six and seven i went 
eight seasons or seven? Seasons? It was okay. seven and eight. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, dude. Um, I, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll think different if we watch it. I mean, because I know we're going to watch it again. But my first initial impression, I mean, I'm just, I, I have concerns. Um, yeah, yeah, I do too. I do too. And I, I just hope that I hope they're not missing opportunities to really tell a, tell a good story. So we'll, so we'll see. I mean, I, this is kind of reminded me of like the Ghost of Christmas Past episodes, what I'm calling it, because it felt like mm-hmm. Ebenezer Scrooge, you know, with the, and he's like, yeah. oh, this is what happened here. This is what happened here. You know, and she's, I don't know. It's exactly what um, it was. We will see. But hey, they finally, it's the first time she's ever been referred to as the Scarlet Witch. Yeah, that was a good name MCU. drop. That was a very good name drop. Um, um, I hate that it came at the last second, you know. Yeah, and it's Kate, and they acknowledged it was chaos magic. But they still, I mean, there's still there's still so much to untie. Yeah, there is. There is. So, I, I, I mean, if this episode's an hour and a half or something, that's one thing. But if they're sticking to the formula and it's like forty-five to fifty to sixty minutes, I just don't. I don't see it, man. I really don't. I mean, here's my concern. Obviously, there's gonna be some, you know, some CGI, some special effects, the little fight, some magic action going on, Vision versus Vision, whatever. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe Wanda fucking sees the the new white Vision and is like, we really, and maybe, maybe that just hits her so hard in the head that she can't manifest her Vision anymore, control him. I don't know, but here's my fear: is that they're battling, battling, battling. Um, we can see on the fucking bottom of our screen how much time is left in the episode. Minus the 10 minutes of credits that they always have, which is ridiculous. Yeah. But they were like, oh shit, there's only like seven minutes left. And all of a sudden, Strange comes in and does his. And then credits, you know? I mean, oh, if, they, if they were to do that, I would be so pissed off. Yeah. It's like. So Strange is just going to come in last minute and just. No, I, I think. It, and no. then I'll be. <laughs> I mean, I just. I have concerns, dude. And, yeah. and, and, and I don't want this to be a launch for. A movie. I know it ties into Strange Two, but exactly. It, this it, this, this have, better not be a this better not be a prequel to a fucking movie. Well, it, it ties in heavily to <clears throat> Doctor Strange Two, but it yeah, needs to but have I mean, it, it needs to have its own resolution. It needs to be its own story as well. So right. we'll, I don't know, man. I have concerns. No, I do too. I do too. It's <laughs> no secret. I'm yeah. liking it. I'm gonna watch it again, but I have concerns. Yeah, I remember a while back, Paul Bettany had said the last three episodes are like epic. And I'm like, I don't know what episodes you were watching, my guy, but the previous, two, the yeah. previous two have not been epic, Paul. I'm, I'm sorry to say, man, uh, maybe the finale is yeah. going to be epic, but I don't know where that last three episodes shit came from. Uh, I, agree. I agree. I just uh, I don't know. But anyway, so. And so like, why is it? Did you notice? How is it that Vision's body has color to it? Because whenever Thanos pulled the Mind Stone out, it went completely gray. Well, see, my guess is they were making, they were probably making a little progress on getting the form back. I don't know. Back online? They didn't have like the full, because he said once they have the source, like we finally have a source, my guess is they didn't have enough to get them over the final hump. They were kind of getting there, maybe. That's Mm -hmm. what I took from it. You know, like they were, that's kind of why. And in that scene, it honestly looked like, he was that motherfucker was goading her like, you know, he was wanting her to bring him back right there. It kind of it came off that way. Like, yeah, he kept, he kept giving her all these nods of like, um, you know, if only there was a way you could bring him back to life or something. It's like, is this dude goading her? Yeah. He's trying to fucking get her to unleash hell and bring him back. But she didn't. Yeah. Flies down there, touches his head, teardrop and just, a little and bit. Just, and just leaves. And just leaves. Yeah. Like. Okay. They staged a little. They they fucking CGI that other crap. They yeah, deep like, her. And then, <clears throat> yeah, and then we got this really, really kind of cathartic and haunting scene of her driving to Westview. And as that scene was playing, I was like, "Why? Why Westview? Why does she go there?" And then mm-hmm. she pulls up to the empty lot. Bam! There it is. The deed the in deed. her hand. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now I understand. Her and Vision were planning to buy a house there, apparently, or something. Yeah, they were going to build a house there. Yeah and grow old together and it kind of hit me in the feels a little bit because at that point you you know you really feel for her like man you know it was it was it was kind of it was kind of heartbreaking and then yeah she does her thing unleashes the shit builds the house totally fucking sucks in the you know or creates a hex and shit and, and then that part kind of bothered me was that i, I like to like all the build up until that's the point where she's like just blah! 
and makes all the town black and white, everything. I mean, I, I, I get it. It's hard to explain. Mag magic is going to be different. It's not a science that we are aware of or anything, but I don't know. It, it seems like they went from fucking zero to 50 really quick there at that point. I mean, I don't know. But then again, I mean, because this whole time she's, because what's her name? Agatha's been asking her, how, how did you do this? How did you do this? And she's like, I don't know. I don't know. So I, I, I guess it makes sense because it was all her emotions just fucking just, just going out. Yeah, but it was just built up and built up. I guess, I, guess up. I still want resolution. I guess I want, I want to know how to, I guess. I don't know. What do you mean? Well, I mean, because Agatha's on like... Agatha's part? Well, oh, no, on, on Scarlet's part. I mean, she just kind of just fucking just... You know, that was her... That was how she did the whole city, how she did the whole the hex, the, uh, yeah. the imprisonment aspect. Um, well, I think... Uh, I, I mentioned, okay, so here's, I kind of, I don't know what to say about, you know. How and no I, mention of Darkhold this episode either. God damn it. Yeah, I think one scene, <clears throat> it, it, it I, I think there was a shot where it cut to the rabbit and the book looks like it might have been opened. How about the rabbit eating that fucking cicada she threw at it? Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I, I think, though, I'll have to go back and watch, but I think the book was open. I saw like a white page Ooh. or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I'll have to. Like I said, it was real, real late. I was real tired. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So okay, if they're going the way the comics is in the comics, House of M style. No, 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 no. Like Chaos Magic. Um, yeah. In the comics, the Chaos Magic originally came from Cthone. Um, I don't know if you know who that is. Yeah, uh, Cthone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cthone, Chthone, whatever the fuck you pronounce his name. I just say Cthone. So yeah, Cthone basically used the chaos magic to rule the earth, you know, as the mm -hmm. God of chaos. And after his rule ended, um, I think all the mages got together and they decided to basically tell everybody it was a lie. You know, it doesn't exist. Yeah. It was all hush, hush, blah, blah, blah. And I believe that's why Agatha said you were a myth. Cause I think she is, she didn't say a Scarlet Witch, you're the Scarlet Witch. Like the Scarlet Witch was a myth or a legend or something from you. Kind of like the Phoenix, the X Men. You're the yeah, Phoenix, so, not a Phoenix. You are the. I got gotcha. you. Exactly. So <clears> I have <throat> I have a little theory that um, it might be crazy, but it, I don't know. It kind of makes sense to me, but it, whatever. I have a feeling that if all that is true and they're going that way in the show, at some point maybe Cthone was banished or you know banished from or, Earth or whatever. Yeah. Maybe he came into contact with Wanda at some point when she was born or whatever and gave her a fraction of his powers. That's how she's able to use this chaos magic. Wasn't he imprisoned through Darkhold? Uh, Something like uh, that? I think so. There's a, there's a tie-in. I'm going to look that shit up. Yeah, but in the, scene, the, in the flashback with her brother, with the bomb. Book of Sins, Book of Spells. Yeah, I'm listening. No, in the flashback with her brother, with the bomb, she, she raises her hand. And I'm like... Mm -hmm. She fucking had her powers all along, but it wasn't the powers that she has now. It was, it, it, it all lines up, man. If she had those, if she had Cthone's chaos magic, you know, in her, I feel like when she was experimented, experimented on with the Mind Stone, it kind of just amplified it and just really just brought it all together. But that's kind of what I think is going on. And it kind of wrote Darkhold. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I, yeah, okay. I didn't want to say anything, but I had a feeling. But this is the not the MCU canon. This is Marvel. So I don't know. We'll see. They, they, yeah. they, they'll do their own spin on it. So I don't know. I mean, I mean like, uh, I just. You see, so, so yeah, but, but, it, but, but here's the thing it's like, with all that being said, you know, does this mean Cthone will appear at some point? Maybe not in the show, maybe in Doctor Strange 2. I don't, I don't know. But I think that's kind of what's mm -hmm. going on with the chaos magic thing. I, I think this motherfucker might have came into contact with Wanda at some point in time, way back in the day, and maybe left a part of his powers to her, if that makes sense. Because yeah. she clearly had some type of powers. Yeah, as a child. Kid. So, yeah. I don't know, man. Um, it's either that or I, I kind of, I don't know how I'll feel if they would do this. I heard somebody mention. What if she had her powers all along because mm -hmm. those, weren't, those weren't their real parents? She's actually the daughter of Magneto, and they were adopted, blah, 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 and they were really- See him going that way, but I mean, I mean, it could. I could see that happening, but I feel like 
with all the introduction of chaos magic and the witches, I feel like it's kind of deviating more towards the Cthone thing. But I could yeah. also see if they were to go the Magneto route, like, oh, that's how she had her power. She's really the they're really the 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 kids of Eric Lyncher or whatever, and they were adopted mm-hmm. by the Sokovian parents. I don't know. I could see it going either way, and it's not going to yeah. piss me off which way they go. I, I think I would enjoy both ways it, as long as they did it right. You know, as long as they did it right. Marvel hasn't let us. I mean, MCU hasn't let us down yet. So, well, other than Iron Man three, um, and and Dark World. Yeah, I still and, enjoyed Dark World. It wasn't bad. It wasn't and, great. It and wasn't Captain bad. Marvel, but you know, uh, yeah, touche. But, but actually, you know <laughs> that what? Wasn't I, bad either. I mean. Well, it just wasn't thing, as good though, as the others. I actually rewatched Captain Marvel a couple days ago, and uh, I kind of like it better now that I know more about Monica and Maria through WandaVision. It kind of, it just kind of hits me different in a better way watching mm-hmm. Captain Marvel. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, but um, but yeah, that's ultimately <laughs> that's what I think is going on with the Chaos Magic um, and Cthone. I could that's that was just kind of my my thoughts on everything. You know. All right. I, I you know there's so many ways it could go, which is which is seeming to hold true to this whole series yeah. that it like, yeah. never fucking resolve anything, but yeah. there's just one fucking episode left. So, mm-hmm. and we finally learn why it's sitcoms. She grew up watching sitcoms, all kinds of them. It makes sense. I think someone said that. What? In a past podcast. Oh, you, oh, you did. I, well, someone, I mean, it wasn't. I think, it wasn't. I, think, I think someone said that in a past podcast. It wasn't mm-hmm. far fetched to believe. I mean, I can see how you. <laughs> I can see how you were going that route. Hey, and if you called it that long long ago, props to you, man. I love that scene after Age of Ultron when she's talking to Vision uh, after Quicksilver's death, and um, that was a really good heartfelt scene, man. I think that was the first time in this episode that I actually kind of felt bad for Wanda. You know, um, yeah. Because say what you will about her, man. This this girl's been through a lot. Yeah. And I really like that shot when she's driving around Westview and it looked like an old kind of like an older town, like kind of depressed city. And you could see like you could see that one dude with a mustache. And I think you saw her walking by mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then you saw the 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 mom from Malcolm the Minimal and they're just normal people. Yeah, it, it just seemed kind of just kind of just blah, like just a nothing interesting going on. Yeah, type, it was, type of town. It was yeah. kind of it was kind of eerie, honestly, almost like they were waiting for her. Yeah, I could see that, but it just it just it was just weird, man. That whole scene was just kind of haunting and cathartic. like what if they this is this is digging deeper. Cause since since they did kind of give us that vibe, what if what if Harkness already had set the, the 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 stage for all this? I don't think she did, man, because she made a point to reference in the episode that she sensed all this. Once Wanda did what she did, Agatha sensed it from wherever she was. That's kind of how she went there. True. Because I think it ties back to what I said earlier about chaos magic is I think it was a myth or maybe she thought it was a myth. And that, cause that's what she said. You're supposed to be a myth. And I guess once she sensed all this, she was kind of like, what the fuck is that? Let me go check this shit out. So it kind of makes sense because she, the whole episode, she's trying to get Wanda to tell her, how did you do all this? Mm-hmm. What? So I think Agatha was drawn there because my whole question was, how did Agatha get there? How did she meet Wanda? Okay, well, she and, did. She did. And how did she get her powers there? If, if she was like the only the only place that she felt comfortable, like confronting Wanda was in, in her basement with all the runes. But then so she was able to manifest the space inside the hex with her I, runes or. I guess, I guess because or, I mean, there's there's a little bit of. Uh, well, log- logistics there that I'm, I'm trying to figure out, you know? Yeah. Well, my question was if Agatha was drawn to this because she sensed it, how does she have a house there in a basement that looks like it's centuries years old, but maybe she just manifested that or took over that house. Or maybe it was a portal to get like, well, it kind of makes sense with the way they kept going from space to space, but, but yeah, but so she was able to use her own portal inside the hex, which was Wanda's. A space? I don't know. I don't yeah, know. well, she's clearly got some OP powers. So, and, oh, and she's, I, yeah. And, and, and I like that shot. She looks when, cool too when she had the kids, the kids, she's strangling the kids with the fucking air in the end. Her hair was all fucking, I liked it. Her wardrobe looked tight. Yeah, that was a cool visual. It. But I, I like that one shot where Wanda tries to use her shit, but she can't, you know? So it's like, well, maybe she found a way to overpower this shit. And 
I, I, I don't know, but oh, in the basement, yeah, that was yeah. the runes. Yeah, the runes she couldn't. Yeah, but that's a question I had, and I'm glad it got answered. As far as how did I get to get there, so it just kind of makes sense. Like she thought it was a myth. She sensed all this shit. Oh, something's going on. Holy shit, girl, who are you? How do you have this power? Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of what leads me to believe that Agatha was not involved in this in any way, in any way with the hex and shit. And it kind of adds up. So I don't know. I, I just, uh, as far as the next episode, I don't know. I don't think she's the big bad villain. I mean, maybe. I don't know. There's still room for something else. And I suspect something else. But yeah, I'm off the. I don't think Mephisto. I don't think Nightmare. I don't think the only thing I could see is is Cthone maybe appearing. I just don't see how Mephisto makes sense at this point anymore. I don't know, man. But maybe it's good that I don't know because now I'll be surprised. Yeah, but 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 we don't know to such an extent that we're now that we're a little concerned. Right. So, and, and, not, and not concerned for like the characters, but concerned for like, please don't, please don't fuck it up. <laughs> you know, I mean, right, right. <clears throat> please Real do it justice, you know, with the limited time we have left with this show, depending on a, how long this episode's going to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot to tie. So, what do you think's going to, what do you, what do you think's going to happen? Fuck, man. Uh, I, I really, I really don't know, man. Like, I could see this venturing off into like four different, resolutions and i don't know which one to pick from i really don't how are they going to get vision the new the, oh because he has the power source so maybe maybe he'll be able to walk through the, the shield and not be affected because he has the power source yeah from I, I would imagine vision fake vision and wanda will try to team up since he's her creation i guess they'll team up to take <clears> the <throat> vision but then how does Agatha fall into all that? I don't, maybe Agatha will team up with Wanda and vision to take on white vision. I, I don't know. Maybe white visions, a I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's all over the place right now. But, the, but there's three, there's technically kind of three sides here. There's Harkness, Sword, Wanda at the moment. And Monica. What, uh, what the fuck are they going to do with Monica? Like, I don't, Monica. I don't know what her resolution is. I don't, I just, it's so, it's she, a lot, dude. Monica's going to end up teaming up with, with Wanda. I, I could see that. Yeah, I could for see that. Sure. For sure. Maybe they just all and come maybe, together to take maybe, on White Vision. Maybe it's like Ultron point two or something. Uh, that would be kind of sick, actually. Now that I think about it, that'd be kind of cool. They all team up together to take on Ultron Vision or something. You know what I mean? That'd be crazy. And then Doctor no, Strange. No, I don't think so. Because, I mean, Wanda should be able to... It, I mean, because he doesn't have the fucking Mind Stone. And, and he, so he's, this, this new Vision should not even be close to as strong as the old Vision. Well, you got to think, man. He's probably made with the power of chaos, magic, and Wanda shit now from that uh, that uh, drone. So I don't know how powerful he's going to be. He might he might be a little OP. So you're implying chaos magic is more powerful than the Mind Stone, than the Infinity Stone in that regard. I, I don't know. I, I I don't I don't think so. Yeah, I, I wouldn't think so either. But but I wouldn't put it past him to <clears throat> to, to to do something like that. We'll see. I don't, yeah, we'll see, man. But, <laughs> we'll and see, then, dude. Uh, and then, and then, you know, Strange is going to show up. I would highly imagine he's going to show up. I, I just don't know. Maybe at the end of the episode, it'll be in an after credit scene. It'll be fucking. I'll be so disappointed. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't put it past him to do that either. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. All right, the point is, we got a lot of shit to resolve, and only one episode to do it. So, it'll be know. like this, dude. Wanda's going to end up on top. She's going to win. Harkness is going to, Agatha Harkness is going to, it's okay, so I'm calling it. Mass fucking destruction everywhere, right? They're going to destroy this fucking town. It's going to be an epic fight. Right. Agatha Harkness is going to end up fucking getting beat down in some regard, but not going to die. She's going to be like, she's just going to fucking portal away to safety somewhere. She's going to go somewhere else with, with Darkhold, right? Mm -hmm. She's going to fucking go away. Wanda's going to be all distraught because Vision, both, both Visions now, she's seen her vision is dead, and the new vision is going to be dead too. So she's going to see. That'll be like the in her in her mind, like the fourth and fifth time she's seen Vision die. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Some regard, she's going to be a shell of a fucking. Uh, she's be exhausted, but she's won. Photon's going to be there comforting her, and Photon's going to be like, I don't know what we're 
you know, I don't know what to do. And Wanda's going to be like, I just have no control over anything. Her, her chaos match, we bleed all over the place, causing weird shit to happen. There's going to be all these big concerns of like, well, what can we do with her? And then fucking Strange is going to come out and be like, let me, let me guide her and takes her off to the fucking, what's it called? His, what's, it, what's his, enter the sanctum in fucking New York and then fucking credits roll. That's an interesting theory. I mean, I, I, I could. It kind of wraps everything up except sword, but photon will go start lead sword. Hayward's going to have to fucking die. Unless Hayward is somehow tied in with Agatha Harkness somehow. No, I think Hayward's just Hayward. He's just a dude yeah. who's trying to, I, I don't think he's got anything to do with that. I really don't even, I, I don't really see him dying. Uh, Jimmy and Darcy, what happens with Jimmy and Darcy? Are, are we, we've done. Oh, we them. haven't even seen them. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. There's so many characters and the engineer, if they're going to do anything <sighs> with that, like I, I just, there's so much shit left. <laughs> they miss an guy. opportunity. They miss an opportunity. Yo, if they if they don't do anything with that, and it turns out it was just nothing, like I'm gonna, that's that's like a big fuck you to everybody. That's a tease. If even if it wasn't like Reed or or Blue Marvel or whoever the fuck all the other people they're saying Peace. it could have been, yeah. I don't. Uh, it, it's I, I don't know, man. I'm just concerned. I'm concerned for next week. I'm yeah. I'm going in hesitant. I'm not just dis- yeah. I'm not disappointed. I'm concerned. Yeah, I'm not disappointed either. I'm looking forward to the next episode. I'm not going in like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going in with a little, all right, man. I'm not all hyped like I should be. I'm going, it's more of a, all right, man, let's press play and hope to God this works. You know, I'm. I'll tell you what, though, this, after this episode, this is the most interested I've been in going to actually go out and look at other people's podcast or their, or their, or their, reactions and their feedback on this episode i've just already kinda, seen a i've already seen a couple this morning and they're kind of on the same lines as us like they're oh just, really yeah like we don't know one guy said in particular like i don't know how the fuck you're gonna wrap this up in one episode it should be two yeah. or three more yeah i, just, I, I don't I'm i don't concerned. see it i don't see it at all one episode to fucking tie up every loose end i mean i don't know bro i don't know man i mean i, I there's concerns so i'm curious what other people are saying but i'm gonna watch it again first and maybe that'll kind of quench some of my concerns. Um, yeah, and overall, man, like I said before, it wasn't a bad episode. It was a good episode no, as far no. as getting answers. I liked seeing all the flashbacks. I just wish this would have taken place a little earlier. Like this yeah. wasn't this wasn't a penultimate episode. This was. It doesn't feel like a build up to the finale. It, yeah, this this is like the beginning or the end of Act Two, right? Or the start right. of or the start of right. Act Three. Right, that's a good it, way to put it. It it this is like yeah man this is like I'm finishing up my entree now I got the cheese course coming yeah and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna this is information the yeah it's like these are wow. these are flashbacks we should have already gotten at this point and, I'm kind, I'm kind of feeling that way yeah yeah but anyways at the end of the day it's Kevin Feige it's Marvel I got faith but like I, I said too. I'm going in I'm going in a little hesitant next week you and me both. Anyways, brother. All right, man. We'll watch it again. If you got any other, if something comes up to you, text me later. All right. Any new like insight or anything, but same, same with you. Same with you. We'll do brother. Other than All that, right. we are out of here. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at the Indie Rundown and like our Facebook page, the Indie Rundown Podcast.